Hey there, YouTube. Today I want to talk about how easy it actually is to defend yourself against a remote release flechette launcher. But first things first. What makes the flechette launcher special? The remote release flechette launcher is an experimental weapon that can be unlocked at the human tech broker. There are a lot of videos out there about how to unlock them and why they actually exist in the first place, so I won't dive into that topic in this video. What I want to say is that I, besides of a lot of other commanders out there, use them explicitly for PvP. And they are a deadly weapon if used well. What you have to know about them is the fact that they completely ignore shields, what makes them a perfect counter weapon against all that squishy hole shield tanks out there. But they don't just ignore shields. With an armor piercing rate of 80, they are the perfect weapon to snipe modules without the necessity of dropping your opponent's shields before being able to do so. So, when you hear all that, the first question you might have is, aren't they overpowered? And the simple answer is, no they don't. Because there are some easy ways to protect yourself against them and I will tell you the best ways to do so in this video. With a shot speed of 550 meters per second and a range under 3 kilometers, the flechette user is a lot more controllable by changing your vector constantly and or keeping a distance. This can be done easily with maneuverable and long-range engineered ships. Long-range engineering is optional, but because of the non-existing damage drop, it can give you a great advantage. One thing you have to know about the flechettes is that point defenses treat them just like rockets and mines. Keeping a reasonable distance and equipped on both the top and bottom side of your ship helps a lot to defend against them. The thing is that not every ship is as maneuverable as a FTL or a Vulture, and point defenses can be outsmarted if you don't keep enough distance for them to work properly. But there is one thing that you can do to protect yourself against these devilish weapons. Actually, I can't really believe that I'm saying that, because these modules should be included in every ship you build, except for traders or explorers maybe. But module reinforcements are the best and most effective way to protect yourself against not just flechettes, but every penetrator engineered weapon out there. And the rule is simple. The bigger the ship, the more you need. Because bigger ships are less maneuverable and therefore mostly easier to snipe. Combined with an auto field maintenance unit which lets you repair them makes you superior against all the flechettes in the world. I mean it really is that simple, just ditch one, two or even three of your optional internals, replace them with module reinforcements and you have less worries in that game in general, especially with big ships. They have so much optional space that you can build a ship with a lot of shields, a lot of hull and a lot of module reinforcements, so why not doing so? Even my little Viper got two of them and I fly it without shields and barely get module sniped with success. So, is the flechette launcher really overpowered if one module alone can counter that weapon that easily? I really don't think so, and I even would say that the remote release flechette launcher is one of the most balanced weapon in this game. And for the end of this video I have a great example for you. This is a great fight against a federal corvette with at least two, maybe even three module reinforcements against my crate flechette build. I hope you enjoy watching it just as I enjoyed the fight itself. So let's go get some module reinforcements and fly safe commanders.
Catch you later. Catch you later.